God is turning your life around in this season. As you listen to this, I want you to know that it doesn't matter what your current situation looks like. It doesn't matter where you are right now. It doesn't matter how bad things have been up to this point. God is causing a shift to happen in your life today, in Jesus' name. It doesn't take him long to do it. He doesn't need years or decades. He doesn't need the permission of anyone to do it. Today, if you believe it and agree with him, he is turning your life around. Have you been worried, hopeless, depressed, lost, struggling in one way or the other? Maybe you've been struggling with a habit or an addiction. Maybe you've been told your whole life that you will always be worthless, that you're someone who will always need the help of others, that you can't stand on your own. Well, I've come to tell you today, child of God, that that is not the end of the story. It doesn't matter what your life looks like right now. That is not the final stop in the road. There is nothing God cannot turn around. He is the God who specializes in making something out of nothing. And if you trust whatever it is to him, if you will walk with him on this journey, I assure you that you will definitely find that God is a specialist at making something great and magnificent out of what looks like nothing in your life. You may not understand why some of the things in your life have happened until now. They may look like completely random events. You may even be wondering why they can even be of any use to God. And maybe they've got you convinced that that's all there is to you. Remember, there is no situation that God cannot turn around. There is no situation that he cannot work out for your good. When everything looks like it's going crazy and like it makes no sense whatsoever, God is there behind the scenes working it all out in your favor. He's working it all out for your good. So as long as you continue to trust and believe in him, he will turn any situation you find yourself into good. Is it your past you're worried about? Do you feel like you'll never be able to get beyond your past or beyond what's happening? Well, God is turning even that to work for your favor. Look, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how you grew up. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter what mistakes you've made. He is the God who is able to turn the worst story into the greatest testimony. Take a look at the story of Rahab. She was the most well-known prostitute in her day. She's the one that everyone knew about and talked about behind her back. The one everyone felt better than and righteous condemning that she was the first person they came to ask about strange men when they heard that strangers had entered the land. The Bible tells us that her house was at the city gates. The king of Jericho was told, Look, some of the Israelites have come here tonight to spy out the land. So the king of Jericho sent this message to Rahab. Bring out the men who came to you and entered your house, because they have come to spy out the whole land. Joshua chapter 2 verses 2 to 3. She was a prostitute. Aside from being leprous, there was no greater condemnation in her day than that. And yet, when she displayed trust in God and love for him and his people, he turned her story around. It wasn't just turning aside from prostitution that caused her to be written into the lineage of Jesus. It was her love for God and her trust in him. So take a look at the way she displayed that trust in the words that she spoke to the spies. Before the spies laid down for the night, she went up to the roof and said to them, I know that the Lord has given you this land and that a great fear of you has fallen on us so that all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you. We have heard how the Lord dried up the water in the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt and what he did to Sihon and Og, the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan, whom you completely destroyed. And when we heard of it, our hearts melted in fear, and everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on earth below. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that you will show kindness to my family, because I have shown kindness to you. Give me a sure sign that you will spare the lives of my father and my mother and my brothers and my sisters and all who belong to them, and that you will save us from death. Our lives for your lives, the men assured her. If you don't tell what we are doing, we will treat you kindly and faithfully when the Lord gives us this land. And she trusted that God would bring his people victory when they came back to take the land. She was willing to put her life at risk and choose these people who were strangers over her people for the faith that she had in their God and the exploits that she had heard of. Everyone had heard the exploits, but not everyone had the courage to put their trust in the God who had given the Israelites these exploits. Everyone had heard the stories, but not everyone had the humility and the openness to place God above everything else that they had been familiar with at that point. God can turn any situation in your life around. If he could make a prostitute and make her a matriarch in the line of Jesus, 
How much more can he take your life and make it into something glorious and beautiful to behold? All he requires you to do is that you keep trusting in him. All he needs you to do is to keep loving him above all else. Look, he's not calling you to be perfect. He's not calling you to make no mistakes. He's not saying that you have to be perfectly sinless. So stop placing unnecessary standards that God hasn't placed for your turnaround. All he requires you to do is to trust him and love him and just keep walking with him. Even when it doesn't make sense. Even when you're not sure how the situation would ever work out for your good. Even when you don't understand why he seems to be delaying or even worse, silent. Even when you can't see the next two, three steps, step by step. One after the other, keep taking those steps. The situation may not make sense. Your life may not make sense right now, but your God is a specialist at bringing light out of darkness and making sense out of the senseless. He's wonderful that way. Beyond words, he's faithful. So keep trusting, keep loving, and just keep walking again. He'll turn that situation around when you least expect it. It may not happen the way you expect it. It may not happen how you expect it. But one thing you can be sure of is that he will surely turn it around for your good. No matter how bad or messed up the current situation is, no matter how crazy your story is, he is this very moment turning it around for your good and causing all things to work out in your favor. Praise him. God bless you.